welcome back to my channel rare eddie one i'm your host rare eddie one and welcome this is part two of the reptilians um how i like to how i like to start these is a bit of fun or a bit of pondering a bit of uh thought um so i have a couple of things well not a couple of things um bit of news um not no new no news um but um i came across this post on um on the internet bear with me with the yerms and the peanut butter mouth i am you, you all know i'm not the best of readers so bear with me and i thank you for being here and uh let's get at it so on google i was looking and i came across scientists say as many as six billion billion earth-like planets in our galaxy now that's a bit misleading because our galaxy is in between one and four billion stars in a low you know alone give or take um so six billion earth-like planets I expect they mean a million, you know, but I have one pulled up, which this is um, from Uma Abar. Um, I apologize if I got that wrong. And this is physicsastronomy.com. This is, it, I can't see a date on it um oh here we go um this is january late january 30th of january 23 so there are six billion earth-like planets in in the milky way galaxy alone astronomers suggest now i assume they mean million um but maybe you think one earth is enough but what if there were billions in the universe possibly billions researchers make a new estimate um, that the number of earth-like planets in our milky way galaxy can reach as high as six billion unless the stars in our galaxy creep up it's a bit misleading Astronomer, astronomers um, sorry bear with me with my short tongue that word gets a bit better of me last episode uh, part one i could not for the life of me get that word out um, um at the university of british columbia um analyzed data from nasa a kepler mission to reach a stunning conclusion that the information on 200,000 stars was gathered by the Kepler planet hunting spacecraft from 2009 to 2018. The criteria used by scientists for selecting such a planet meant, uh, maintained it had to be a rocky, yeah, about the same size as earth and all orbiting a star like our sun this planet also had to be in the habitable zone the goldilocks zone as as i say um, where the conditions would just be right to to host potential life um well our water and life um ubc uh, University of British Columbia um, researchers. Oh, I, I'm I'm sorry, I cannot pronounce your name. I'm really sorry. Kimimoto. If I get that wrong, I am. But I do apologise. Who co-authored the new study and previously discovered seventeen new planets exoplanets outside our solar system said the uh, calculations place an upper limit of the 
an upper limit of 0.18 Earth-like planets per G-type star. In other words, that's about five planets per sun. Um, I hope that made sense. <laughs> Um, the study co-authored um, by uh, Jamie and Matthews. Um, sorry again if I uh, get that if I got it totally wrong. Put this from another perspective, explaining that our Milky Way has as many as four hundred billion stars. Well, I I take that that billion back. Now it makes it makes sense now um, um uh, yeah our galaxy I, I i don't know where i got one billion to four billion it's 100 billion to 400 billion stars in our galaxy alone i i totally got that wrong my balls that up sorry guys um with um so our milky way galaxy as many as 400 Four hundred billion stars, with seven percent of them being G-type. That means less than six billion stars may. Seven percent of them being G-type. That means less than six billion stars may have Earth-like planets. Now that makes sense in our galaxy. Uh, to conduct the study, Kunimoto utilized the technology uh, the technique known as forward modeling which allows her to so she i do apologize i misgendered her at the start which allowed her to overcome the issue that earth-like planets are hard to spot on account of them being small and orbiting from their star so this is a quote. I'm I'm guessing it's from uh, from uh, from Komoto, um, Kunimoto. Sorry, um, I started by simulating the full population of exoplanets around the stars Kepler searched. Expounded ex, expounded the research in the UBC's press release i marked each planet as detected or missed depending on how likely it was my planet search algorithm would have found them that yeah um i compared the detected planets to my accurate um catalog of planets if the stimulation um, produced a close match then the initial population was likely a good representation of the article of the actual uh, population of the planets orbiting their stars um, I did not do her any justice there I, I do apologize um, and but um, so one more, one more paragraph well the science, scientists came up with with an impressive number of possible Earths. This likely doesn't mean that that's how many um, such planets there are, and if they would have life like ours. But this new estimate definitely expands the possibility of similar planets are out there. Thank you. Um, is that a bit of fun? Um, so what do you think what do you think guys out there of um of um potentially one billion earth-like planets does it mean they've got life on it no um does it mean it could it could have life on it yes um could it be life like ours no um you know, um, possibilities of silicon, silicon-based life, um, which, trying to think about it now, uh, I haven't got any notes pulled up on that. I have heard silicon-based life 
could be a possibility i will i will have to look into that and uh, let you guys know um, but for it means if we ever get together this world ever gets together and starts exploring our solar system our galaxy we could potentially have bases all over the place um we could maybe find a wormhole black hole you know that could maybe get us there quicker you know um which would be awesome but a bit of fun uh you know a bit of uh, theorizing um which is always good um if you want to ex if you want to put it in down in the comments let me know if uh, how what you thought to that um but anyway let's get to the topic at hand part two reptilian conspiracy theories so so i think i touched on um different um um races or different how many different reptilian races could be out there um but as i was searching i found this from the express and it is dated the tuesday 8th of may 2018 this is very interesting so this five years you know just under five years away from where we are now um so title um headline world war three warning bizarre claim reptilian aliens set stage for war in ukraine not saying anything that ukraine russian war has been going on it hasn't been going on for a long time but it's been in the background um so they could have estimated that that title but it's very interesting to say there's now actually a war in ukraine um a bizarre world war three conspiracy theory has surfaced online claiming an overlord race of reptilian aliens are or or crest uh, organizing world events to tr trigger a global war in europe my well, europe um well i guess we're quite overpopulated and we're bringing more people in uh, you know as rapid as you know as rapid as flies are born a reptilian conspiracy theory is a popular myth among online conspiracy theorists who believe a race of shape-shifting reptiles are running the world Uh, there is not proof but there's genuine evidence out there that that's a possibility until you give me proof otherwise then i don't really know um but the theory has now been linked to a growing fears of world war three in the very bizarre video shared on youtube by user two circles archive I'll have to check that out. Um, according to the conspiracy video, time is running out for the reptilians, and a global conflict is right um, is a right distraction to keep their existence a secret. Very interesting. The video says reptilian um, parasites, the reptilian parasites known for for that human humanity is waking up to their existence which there's many people out there normies that have, have heard of the reptilian conspiracy theories you know from from the eyes of the royal family being reptilians um, the rockefellers uh george soros uh, trump the presidents of uh, the united states people waking up to these um conspiracies um yeah waking up or maybe listening to them that's why the that's why they need that's 
the way this is written is not great express that's why the need for third world war um so that's why they need a third world war but as a distraction that the sole reason for this interaction initial interaction their initial conflict although there has been no outbreak of international war well, there has now um, between the, wor the, the world's uh, global powers which if you look at it Russia um, and a lot of big corporations uh, if this war ends uh, are due to make a lot of money um, just rebuilding new Ukraine you know uh, making they're going to make a lot of money um, that's a different um, topic but it says the reptilians um, sorry someone's being a dickhead out there I do apologize uh, nothing I can do about that it's tea time people get excited for tea time and yeah, the reptilians um, versus humans <laughs> not humans versus humans not the West versus Russia interesting but anyway so I won't get into that video I'm going to check that video out though definitely um, there's a lot more on that um, that I could have looked into but so uh, common reptilian theories so we've just gone over one um, uh, theorists would tell you that the reptilians are human humanoid species that appear to be human from the feet to the neck but have a face that resembles a reptile they tend to be much taller than your average human unless at least during the point in time at least during that point in time again let me i'm getting this from a mythological mythological net this is by Professor Geller. Gellier. Um, sorry if I got your name wrong. Uh, I do apologise. Um, so, so average, so taller than the average human at least during that point in time, and have knowledge which is thought to have helped in shaping the ancient world. In fact, some theorists claim that they were responsible for helping to create the major religions that came out of the Middle East, Jude uh, Jude Judaism, Christianity and Islam. Uh, reptilian motives. So let's get into the motives. So what does these strange creatures want? Supposedly to enslave the human race while they're taking a bloody gun long time and really so could they be few in number could they be weaker and we are seeing the um, the demasculate uh, mas masculinity um in hollywood in everything you know everything's been demasculized um is that a word <laughs> probably not um but you know there is you can the there is stuff out there that we are the men are not being men anymore or they're trying to make men not to be men yeah because of toxic masculinity um so could they be weaker than us um, could there be fewer than us possibly um because if that's if that's what they want to enslave us they're taking a hell of a long time what better group could there be um and really what so and really what better group could there be to blame all other world's conspiracies on than first alien settlers to make contact with our ancestors there are many different uh, variations on how these reptilians may have set 
out to enslave the human race, according to some theorists. The Anunnaki uh, accomplished this by genetically modifying the DNA of primates to make them more suitable make them more suitable servants. Others argue that the reptilians simply modified a short segment of the human DNA to make our forefathers more submissive. The men seem submissive. Um, there are some, um, yeah, there are some variations of this theory that claim that humans can only, a, humans can only a small part of their brain. That humans can only use a small part of their brain, 10 percent of their brain, I think, is what we can use, or our, is what we're able to to get at because how the reptilians altered our brain structure may many who believe this theory point to the reptile genes that can be found in our brains and are responsible for large portions of our brain activity hmm. so there's a little section of salvation or of the human race um, that seems a bit Ooh, apparently, so according to Sumeria, uh, Sumerian writings, this supposed plot was foiled by a character named Enoch, a god that came to Earth from a different planet than the Anunnaki, a different place, sorry, sorry, uh, <laughs> A different place than the Anunnaki, he freed certain humans from slavery by telling them a secret through we are no longer certain to as to what the secret may be. Apparently Enix Enix um, tactics didn't pan out for the long run because many believe the reptilians are still alive and well. That's a... Um, so it, it just gets more into uh, conspiracies on the reptilians. A uh, bit of David Icke is in there. Um, yeah, just... It's fasc fascinating, but I really... Do want to keep these videos short and uh, this ain't going to be short so um on the reptilians it's more it looks like more more of a story uh, more stories out there but I, I did find that that war in ukraine was very interesting uh that that's an article in the express from 2018 now did they do what the simpsons do um, sort of cleverly look through the data and um, put clever um, uh, and clever like examples uh, that could happen and generally do happen because they're quite they're very clever and they see the, the read data like they, they predicted Donald Trump well really they looked at it and they always saw that was going to happen and they predicted queen elizabeth's death well you, that that one's a bit stranger that one actually um but they, they predicted like you know the two towers collapsing um but who hasn't um yeah you know, you know, god rest all them souls um But anyway, so that's going to be it for the reptilians. If you, if there's more you want me to get into, let me know in the comments. You know, hit get in the comments and let me know. If you um, 
like this video please like and subscribe and um, that really helps that really helps uh, comment as well if you didn't like this video i thank you for being here and um, i thank you for watching till the end thank you so anyway that's me i'm already one peace